Okay, this is going to be week three of our um, cabin project. So we are going to go work on that now. My son, he just, we're doing kind of like a half day. My son, he started a wood stove out here and we bought wood the other day and started to like pack the wood in there. So now I want to be custom doing a triple bunk for smaller children that is going to be the project for the day i say week one two three um but it's not actually like weeks it's more like sections but i just thought it would be easier as far as labeling purposes goes to have week one two and three he already got a beautiful fire going in here and then this is actually all the wood that we got i ended up just taking a dollar amount that i wanted to spend on wood and spending that so whatever we have left over from this project, then the remaining wood, this would look so good this time too, overall compared to last time. Um, but whatever we have left over from this will go on to our chicken coop project. So if you remember, we are trying to build the bunks over here. So I'll show you the section. He's cutting the first wood so we can make sure that these cushions are gonna fit in. I'll show you. Okay, that. I bought these foam cushions the other day at the store um, and they're actually like a really like durable um, foam. It's not gonna smush very easy like we felt to make sure that it would um, because it's not very thick, but I think it will actually do fine for these. So we're building a triple bunk in this space right here. So this one here is made. We just have it leaning up against here because on the floor here, we are starting to build another one. So basically we have the two sides and the two ends, and then we're putting two cross beams. So we are um, just measuring them out. And then we are lucky because we found, we had some scraps from our other project down here. And those are like junky scraps, but we're using those um as the middle sections over here so like this those are them um so we're using that for those because we're going to be putting a piece of plywood on this anyway because we have really thin mats and it's on an actual mattress so we're going to be putting plywood on these at each section anyway my daughter just brought us out some gluten-free peach crisp with vanilla ice cream so these are boards that are six feet here and these are the three bunky pieces and then we're making we move the bed like way out so we'd have space to work and just making corners like we did here so very tight corners in here um, but we got the bottom one on and then we have the next one up. Well, I marked one spot I need to mark the other um, Corners and then we'll come down and mark this so I have like I don't know if you can see it. I have the mark here So there'd be like that much space for that one there Yeah, so we're gonna work on getting some people together. I'm gonna mark these out get some people together and then we'll hold these up <laughs> Are you building moose? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna end up putting plywood on before we put the cushion on here, but you can get the idea what we're thinking of on these, but we're gonna get plywood on there first. I'm just moving these mats over to here and I'm, we're going to be sewing actually, probably on the same video, we're gonna be sewing little like, um, I don't know, like mattress type covers to go over that. So I'm gonna be moving this onto the top over there because we're also, let me back up a little bit. This is getting a bar to go across the top here, just for safety, and then along the back there. He's cutting them out. There we go. You wanna do it? So the other day we had gotten this fabric for a dollar a yard um, over at a discount store called Martin's. And so um, the, the same place that I bought the foam mats and we decided to custom make these bunk beds to the size of the foam mats. I already knew the size that was like available in that empty space. So I just kind of went from there. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to cut the foam and I didn't. So the foam I spent $13.99 for and then this fabric, I actually spent a um, dollar a yard, so it might be discolored in certain areas. It is an actual like 
it's actual like um, upholstery type fabric. And so this is not what I am considering like a sheet. This would be like the liner over your um, mattress itself. So I will be putting a sheet on top of what this is right here. This is just to keep, this is just to cover over the foam so people don't pick at it and that type of stuff. So that is what we are creating right now with this. All right, so we pulled out the fabric onto my dining room table and we are going to take this big foam pad that we got from the store and I'm just going to lay this out over here and then we're going to cut around on that side cut around and then we're gonna sew it almost like a pillowcase so we'll sew three sides <clears throat> um, actually we'll do like three and a half probably and I'll show you that so all we did here is just sew like a pillowcase on it then we put the flipped it the right way and now the foam things in it so the mattress comes to love my pointer right here you can kind of see it I'm gonna cut the excess off and then I'm gonna fold it in and then iron it so there we go I will um, actually make custom sheets for these after, um, but I'm not doing that right now. We're just doing construction type projects at the moment right now. I'll be working on curtains and all that type of stuff after. So this is actually like the mattress portion and I think it came out pretty good. I'm doing the next one. My daughter's working on one and having sewing machine issues. It's always, one of our sewing machines is always giving us issues. So if it's not mine, it's hers. If it's not hers, it's mine. We actually own four, five. I think we have five sewing machines. I have a sewing machine. She has a sewing machine. Um, my two middle daughters, they share a sewing machine. And then there is another sewing machine that actually was um, in a box of like giveaway stuff that's brand new, like still in the box. So we have not used that. Um, oh, and then uh, my other daughter also has a sewing machine who's 19. Yeah, we have lots of sewing machines, but we always have issues with like, you know, how it all gets bunched up and you gotta take everything out and then there's a little dust bunny in there and it makes like this horrible like thing or like certain bobbins only work in certain machines. So my machine takes totally different bobbins than her machine and hers obviously different than mine. So it's just really weird. Anyway, we're gonna handle this sewing issue. What you doing? I'm cutting up some paper things. So yesterday, it was like 54 degrees outside and today it is negative 17 with wind chills of like below 10 or something like that. Oh, weather in Maine. Anyway, I decided not to start a wood stove, a fire in here. I am in the cabin. Decided not to start a fire in here. We are trying to figure out how to best do this bunk bed. So I think we're going to cut the two that we know need to get cut, put those up and get a little kid to try that out. Alrighty. So this is where we are at. They came out and did some stuff the other day without me. They actually cut all of these. So this is plywood underneath here. Um, so they cut all the plywood and then we put the mattresses. Oh, I got to put it this way. Put the mattresses right on top here. So same for each one of these. It has the plywood and then the mattresses that we made on each of these. So the bottom is fine. The bottom isn't going to need anything. I'm going to put, I want to put just a like bar across this middle section here and then the same along the top for younger kids. And then I'm going to make a ladder, I think down this end, or maybe I should do the ladder right there. Hmm, probably it's gonna to need to be down the end. All right, let's work on that. Okay, so this is how the corner looks. So this is the double bunk here. With the two beds on here. And then we have a small triple bunk here that we created. And these are so kids won't roll off. But also um, this we tried out with my seven, almost eight year old, and she could climb up there perfectly younger kids can climb up there it kind of makes like a ladder in order to get up to whatever bunk that you they need so things that i have next on the list for the project is these four sheets of plywood are actually going to be for the bottom of the chicken coop that's my next project i'm working on so 
those are going to get out of here so we have the space and things we're going to work on is getting this section here with the um pallets as well as up here up top um with the pallet wood just like the wall here with the pallet wood on those two areas and then let me see if i can squeeze in here we are going to so this is the bathroom we're going to pallet wood most um this wall right here i was trying to decide what i wanted to do but i figured other people might prefer to have pallets on this wall especially if kids are in the bunk on the other side there so i'm going to pallet the other side and then i think what i'm going to do is this wall and this wall i'm going to either paint or whitewash so that it's white in here and i'll probably do up here with pallet wood and then we'll do white in there as well and then we'll be making a composting toilet here but i need to buy a urine so diverter. i decided to do a urine diverter because if you were just doing say the bucket system for um compost toilet it fills up really fast with urine if you have lots of people using it so it will have two different systems one the urine will go into like a jug and then you'll dump that out and then the bucket will be for the poop it's very common in composting toilets and then we'll have the sawdust on the side of that so that's how the toilet will be set up we'll build a box around all that type of stuff and make it look pretty or pretty ish um sorry i almost dropped you guys um so that's the plan but that means that i need to buy a urine diverter which is not going to happen for a couple more weeks so we're going to work on the pallet stuff because that's stuff that we have money for and then we'll be working we'll work on that and then we're probably going to start the chicken coop project just depending on timing and i have to decide with my finances right like where do i want to spend money in finances and this is this is kind of like an extra oops, sorry this is an extra project so i'm doing the things that i can do for free in here which is pallet wood and as we come up with a little bit of extra here and there then we'll be working on that project this project as well so that is where we're at right now and i hope you guys are enjoying this project but even though i'm writing like week one two three please understand it's just kind of like this is what we're doing this time we're working on our project um so we it might be a couple weeks before i actually pick up another um section of video to do for this project because the pallet wood i'm not gonna show you guys like every single hey we put a pallet board up um it'll probably be when we're ready to do the bathroom and i'll do that in the next video so i hope you all have a blessed day and if you have your ideas i'm looking for tell me if you think that i should paint it or not paint it in the bathroom that's something that i want to know about the other thing is is up here in the loft if you were a large family or you were a family and you were wanting to come here to make this space livable for you what would you want that upper loft to be would you want it to be one big bed just a play space for kids would you want to have um sleeping bags and stuff up there how would you want that to be set up if you were to come here and stay so let me know those two things in the comments down below and we appreciate you have a great day oh make sure you like and subscribe if you are interested in content like this thanks bye, -bye.